Hey, good day everybody. It's uh, Bearded Minister here. It's uh, time for another uh, Bearded Minister Sask uh, five minute message. This one I'm going to split into two and tie up a couple loose ends from a couple of my previous ones uh, that uh, left left some nuggets, I guess. So God, just in this feet line, a couple minutes here, Lord, I just pray that you would uh, enter into this time, Lord, and just be a part of this uh, these words, this message, Lord, and Lord, you die. We just ask you to direct, direct my lips, Lord. And give the glory, praise you in Jesus' name, Amen. So I want to go back to we were talking about Job and hope, and hope's one thing that's obviously very important to me, um, being uh, disabled for the most part right now, and with my Crohn's and everything else. That hope is something I have, and so you can't have hope without faith, without love. Um, and God is love, and I believe that my ministry is about uh, faith, hope, and love. So today, just for example, I was uh, something happened. I had a, a a thing happen. I got upset. I went back to one of my messages on on uh, beer for mental health and uh, to do change the narrative, right? And so I want you to remember that uh, God has a huge reservoir of hope. He is hope as much as he is love, as much as he is forgiveness. Um, but there's always a reservoir of hope with God, always. There's always one there. God's goodness, God's calling, God's generous, God's... You know, back to what I said, courageously face the future with faith. And with hope, Isaiah 43, do not dwell on the past. God loves to give chances. Um, just, just remember that God's got a plan. You, you cannot and will not lose one cent of your value to God. Nothing you can do, nothing you can do or have done in the past cannot be turned to good. God will take everything and most likely your most troubling times and turn them to good. So maintain hope that that in the right time he will make that plot twist and you uh, what you were hoping for will come true. But keep keep do not do not go from that hope. The other thing I hit on was um, freedom. Um, first Second Corinthians five seventeen and that you're a new creation. Uh, and there's no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus. And I would talk, I made a mention of divorce. Now this is a point to ponder, not something that I have actually that I have actually. Um, made any decisions on for myself and I'm still studying it and so that's why I'm still looking for points to ponder but there's lots of things that limit me in my ministry when it comes to divorce and so I need to studying scripture and praying about it and if I'm a new creation does that not put off the old I don't know I don't know yet. I have to talk to more people, talk to more things. That's just uh, just a point to ponder. Uh, I'd be pretty awesome because I would change a lot of things. I know there's scripture that says that that, that works both ways against it. So it is what it is. And uh, and then uh, I just want to one more thing is like uh, where, where God guides, God provides, right? And and uh, move on faith. Don't be afraid to step out in faith with hope. If you believe in your heart and in your mind that you're supposed to do something, go do it. God will provide. He will take it. He will do it. Don't quit before God gives you that blessing that's there. Don't, but don't try to do it too fast. Don't procrastinate. Move on faith, doing the right thing at the right time and the right steps, depending on God, praying on God, trusting God, believing in God, having faith in God, and of course, having hope on God, and most of all, depending on God. So God, thank you for this short little message, Lord. I hope this helps some people and gives some feedback, Lord, that then we can uh, get closer to you and get a, a closer personal relationship with you, Lord, Lord, that we have to depend on you more, that we would come to you more, that we would rely on you to give us our purpose, Lord, what we are to do every day, Lord, that every day is a blessing there, every day that we wake up, that to put our feet on the ground, that we lift our feet out of the bed is a blessing, and that's a day that we know that you have a purpose for us. So thank you, Jesus, as we go forth today and we go forth in the, in, in the near future, Lord, that you would keep clear our path. Keep us on the straight and narrow path and 
and that we would ask for forgiveness and repent when needed, Lord. Holy Spirit, I love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Beard Minister out.